So, so I've been saying it. I don't have this. I don't have issues with artificial intelligence and whatsoever is capable of doing. It's been describing prophecy in the book of Revelation 13 and 14. You see, what is important is that at such a time in human history where these technologies is going to be very active, as described in Revelation 13, uh, what is also important according to Revelation 14 is that a new breed of believers will arise on the face of the earth and the hashtag will be I follow the Lamb. So I'm particular about the capability of what ITAI, you know, digital economy, e-commerce, is uh, it can do to fast track, you know, the growth and development of a believer. Because now, because of um, what uh, the resources available online, we have uh, access to information and resources that 20 years ago, an average believer could not access. You know, imagine now, if 20 years ago I wanted to watch Kenneth Higgins, you know, messages, I will either have to go to Tulsa or buy some of those videos. But just a push on YouTube now, I can download messages upon messages. The other day I was listening to Dr. Lester Somra, and, you know, the resources are there. So the growth potential that the data age is offering the believer is enormous. And it's, so this is this season, what Christ is trying to do as his own mark in the scheme of things because you know people just do revelation 13 and they don't venture into revelation 14 to also see that those who follow the lamb everywhere also have a number and a name written on their forehead so they have a name written on their forehead too so it's not just the antichrist that's going to mark people at the end time people are also marked for christ and the all mark of those who are marked for christ is that they don't use this technology to promote anything that is sinful that's of flesh in as much as uh, they go on facebook they they post on instagram they they tweet they also deliberately make those things a kingdom resource so they deliberately treat things that in the days to come if those things are fed into the consciousness of any ai machine that ai will say praise the lord so this is a time in which content is very very important as believers you can't just afford to you know post anything you have to be deliberate as you are posting because you are telling a story because the time will come everything that is tweeted that is posted on instagram and facebook will be the basis of you know gathering data to uh, feed the consciousness of an ai machine and if believers don't take advantage of this thing to tell our story and um, you know we will not maximize that and that is the mark of christ in this regard and uh, i just want to end by saying remember in, in Babylon, I don't know the technology that they used. They, they compared the spiritual intelligence with that of the artificial intelligence of the time. And they found out that those who carry spiritual intelligence and that source codes like Daniel were 10 times better. And that was before the cross. That was before uh, the day of Pentecost. That was before redemption. You know, that was before the New Testament. So if under the old covenant, the spiritual intelligence, intelligence of the spirit was 10 times better, now, what any AI could offer at the time, what do you think will be happening now, now that we're in the mainstream of the new covenant? So that means possibly a billion times better. And if we believers who have this superior, you know, intelligence, we are not deploying it to populate and to, you know, influence what is going on on social media, then we leave that place for other agenda to try. So it is important for believers to know that these are the days in which you can't just be a content consumer you have to be a content provider because that space is crying for content and our intelligence is superior. Forget all that is going on. This technology is for Christ and it is through the instrument of this technology, the gospel of the kingdom will be preached. And that's why as a believer living at this time, you have to understand that your content is equally as important. And that is also one way of preaching the gospel in the scheme of things and we must not lose out. We must understand the fact that the name of the game is infiltration. And as we, continue to push things out there. We are also pushing an agenda for God. And in the scheme of things, we take over. Lady Oshmark, they here in London. God bless you. Bye.